M. Benton Harbor, St. Joseph. Depend on us. It's the morning show on 94.9 WSJM. Here we go. Here we go. It's Wednesday, February 28th. Good morning. Uh, today we're dealing with some on and off uh, storms. 60% chance for some rain. That rain could turn to snow. Yeah. The snow accumulation up to one inch with a high of 40 dropping to the 20s and uh, wind gusts as well today. So a lot of those, I think a lot of those storms that happened last night and into this morning might continue off and on today. Hmm. So mm-hmm. got that going for I'm us. I'm hearing some reports near the lake of snow already. I know we're getting rain here. Okay. So just be careful out there. It's going to be a little bit tricky. Yeah, the 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 temperature's dropping throughout mm-hmm. the day. I'm worried that, you know, your drive to work be a little bit wet, but your drive home may be a little icy. Yikes. So be just, careful. Yeah. Be safe. Be careful. Mm-hmm. Uh, thanks to everybody watching on our live stream. You can see my uh, Milwaukee Beers jersey. Um, <laughs> probably should have probably put a sweater what's around the, there. Yeah. What's the occasion here? I just thought I'd wear it. I okay. talked about it last week you about did. how I'm going to pull it out of the closet yeah. and wear it. I just I there felt like is. a good good jersey to wear. Okay. Um, Short more. sleeves on a 20 degree day. That's brave. I got a coat. I brought my coat. I'm good. <laughs> I mean, we got air conditioning here that keeps it at 15 degrees. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. Um, we got a lot to get to this morning, so let's just get right back at it. Uh, WSJM News is brought to you by our friends at Cornerstone Alliance. See GoMichigan.com, Cornerstone Alliance. WSJM News Now. Team coverage from the WSJM Newsroom on News Talk Sports 94.9 WSJM. In the WSJM Newsroom, I'm Ken Lundberg. Good morning. We'll get to the election results in just a moment, but strong storms in southwest Mm -hmm. Michigan last night. We had severe thunderstorms, hail. There were at least two tornado warnings issued, one for northern Barrie and one for southeast Van Buren County last night in our region. We have no touchdown reports at this time. No major damage reports as well. Power outages appear minimal, although just checking a few moments ago, there are a couple hundred households in your school craft that are mm. without power. Uh, some scattered outages in other areas throughout our Tri-County area. And uh, we'll keep an, uh, keep an eye on that. But it appears at this time that the, the damage, if any, was minimal. The affected areas uh, also include Dewajack, Niles, and Three Rivers, some power outages in those areas. National Weather Service meteorologist Nathan Marcelli tells us the 50, 40 to 50 degree temperature drop we'll experience today is pretty severe, but it won't last that long. The good news is it's not going to be a very long-lived shot of cold air. It should modify to the mid-40s by Friday and probably into the 50s by Saturday, and then even warmer for the second half of the weekend. Marsili expects at most about an inch of snow in some areas that are close to the lake today. Voters headed to the polls yesterday in Michigan's presidential primary. Several local elections were also on the ballot. Across Michigan, D- uh, Donald Trump handily won the Republican nomination for president. Joe Biden won the Democrat nomination, though about 100 thousand people who voted in the Democrat primary voted uncommitted as a protest against the president's Israel policy. As for local elections, Berrien County uh, voters said yes to the school millage renewals at River Valley Public Schools, Niles Community Schools, and Buchanan Community Schools. In Van Buren County, a millage renewal for South Haven Public Schools passed. In Cass County, Voters narrowly said yes to a millage proposal for the Cass County Transportation Authority. They also approved a millage renewal for Edwardsburg Public Schools. Meanwhile, Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson briefed press to say that absentee voting was much more common than people showing up at a polling place in person and voting early, which was allowed in Michigan for the first time ever. Over this initial nine-day early voting period all across the state, more than 78,000 Michigan citizens turned out to exercise this particular new option. Close to 20,000 of those votes were cast in the final weekend and the highest turnout day, Sunday. The last day, the 25th of February, where more than 11,000 citizens participated in early voting. Benson said 13 percent of Michigan's active registered voters cast their ballots prior to Election Day. That's about 927,000 absentee ballots and about 80,000 people participating in the early voting. 
Wow. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on yesterday. Coming up uh, next Friday, March 8th, will be a sign of spring in downtown St. Joseph. St. Joe Today's Daniel Crevere tells us that March mannequins will take place from 7 to 8.30 on that Friday. She invites everyone to come downtown and check out the live displays that are going to be in the shop windows. Participating locations either do their own window or partner with the area business or organization, and they get mannequins, friends and family and employees to stand perfectly still for about an hour and a half. So we pick a theme each year. This year's theme is musicians and bands, and then they kind of they go with that. Cravier says that theme ought to result in some creative displays. We've got anywhere from, of course, Taylor Swift to the Beatles. We've got Stevie Nicks, the Spice Girls. We've got quite a wide variety. Downtown businesses will be encouraged to stay open late for March mannequins, and there could be special deals in the shops as well. People can check out their favorite live mannequins and vote. The top three vote-getters will receive bragging rights and prizes. Crevere notes the next day, Saturday, March 9th, will feature the Spring Artisan Fair at the Union Social Event venue at 216 Court Street. That will feature the products of several Southwest Michigan artisans for sale. The event will run from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. So more information about that on our website, WSJM.com. All right. Yeah, in the WSJM newsroom, I'm Ken Lundberg. We'll say I'm a little disappointed in the choices for the bands. Yeah? Yeah, I kept asking Danielle about it. She said, well, we have like one or two (laughs) Taylor Swift uh, versions. Okay. Um, but there was no, nobody really picked like the eighties hair bands. What? And to me, that would That's be like the, a prerequisite, an easy one. Yeah. Like I was like, there's no twisted sister. Oh. There's no kiss. Oh. There's no, uh, you know, guns white and roses snake even or like from, that? uh, the nineties. Oh. Yeah. No white snake. No. Yeah. So Jeez. Motley crew, no Motley crew. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So I guess they're moving on. Maybe next yes, maybe Swift. next time they'll do it and they'll they'll say not just rock bands or or, or rock or pop artists they just <laughs> they they make it down to like eighties and just say all right that would some, be good some Cindy Lauper force them some into the genre Prince yeah the some era. people like that is Miley Cyrus I don't like know if there's ball, a Miley Cyrus swing. that would have been a good one <laughs> see maybe we should uh, sign up for oh, the boy. mannequins we just need a storefront in order to do that. <laughs> All right, we've got a lot of other things to get to this morning. Uh, we'll catch you up with sports with Dave Wolf right now. Let's find out what's going on around this, the uh, the nation and the world with ABC News. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. A series of wildfires sweeping across. Yeah, I was checking out those uh, on the news, the uh, wildfires in Texas. Huge. Some Huge. Cr- some crazy photos yeah. coming out of there. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning to Bill. Good morning to Jeff. Jeff, uh, by the way, said when he was at Top Golf in Schaumburg, oh. Illinois, seven thirty, they had to take shelter until eight thirty for tornado tornado warnings. Ouch, that's intense. So You're it made your Schaumburg. it made your slice go straight. <laughs> took the ball. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah that that ball. The, the wind took it. The wind oh. definitely took it. I'm just looking at. Uh... At the Texas wildfires you mentioned, as of midnight, they're calling it the Smokehouse Creek Fire. It's burned 300,000 acres and is 0% contained. What caused it? Was it just like a lightning strike I somewhere? If, I don't know if they know yet. Wow. Um, um, Jeff admiring the uh, Milwaukee Beers jersey. Uh, <laughs> it says baseball jersey, but is it a, it is a basketball jersey. Oh, basketball. Jersey. Basketball. Mm. Classic movie. You've never seen it. You need to. Um, <laughs> Did you have to send away for that? Uh, yeah, I uh, sent away some box tops, box tops, cereal box tops, <laughs> and some uh, some soda tabs. No, I um, I bought it online. Yeah. Oh, you did buy it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I bought it online. Okay. Send away for it. Yes. I, well, I mean, it. Is, was it an impulse purchase like downtown or something like? No, that? No, no, I. Uh, I went online specifically. So you sought so, it out. Yeah, I sought it okay. out. I said, you know what? <laughs> I've watched the movie since it came out for years. I, it's uh-huh. one of my go-to. I need. I need a good laugh kind of movies. Hmm. And I uh, was like, you know what? I love those jerseys. I would love to have one. Um, actually, a lot of the different teams that they had on that movie, I would love. Um, but. Yeah, I just I sought it out and and got it. So, yes. nice. I sent away. I sent I sent messenger to find <laughs> me 
<laughs> the basketball jersey. Procure me the finest quality. Yes. Give me the finest of silks. <laughs> and find someone to uh, find me a tailor to tailor me a, a jersey. Silkworms that have feasted. So that on I may basketball. Beer. Yes. But no, it's it's um I mean there's some inaccuracies of oh. design. Uh-oh. Um Uh-oh. Yeah, so I can tell. I mean, I got it for cheap. So I think I paid like 20 bucks or something for it, but it's stitched. The numbers are stitched. Yeah. The logo is right. That's awesome. Uh, the back says Cooper. Oh, yeah, there you go. Coop Cooper, the okay. greatest basketball player of all okay. time. Okay. And uh, But, yeah, there's just certain little things because in I think on this sleeve or this sleeve, there's supposed to be um, a beer stein. Oh. A stein full of beer. Huh. Um, and then there's some other things. I think there's a Milwaukee, another Milwaukee beers thing. Was there a sequel to the movie? Unfortunately, no. Oh, I wonder if they're going to do that. Um, I don't know. You know, the guys are still doing uh, South Park. Um, so I'm not sure if they would. Because uh, the movie didn't really do very well oh. <laughs> in the box office. Okay. Now, it is a cult classic, in okay. my opinion. I think it's a great, great movie. But, um, yeah, for some reason, they, they didn't um, make hmm. a sequel. Okay. Well, probably because it didn't do very well. But yeah. they should just do it direct to online. Yeah. Direct to streaming. Even like a short of some kind. Yeah, that'd be fun. Yeah. They, uh, man, maybe I should get a new one. <laughs> There's one online that I could buy. Oh, the fries are ready again. Huh. I think all the, the wind and the storms last mm -hmm. night affected one of our transmitter towers. So our yeah. country stations having issues. Mm-hmm. Get Terry on um, that. Yeah, we'll see about what's going on with that. We'll get back to the show here in just a moment. <clears throat> How's everybody else's day going? Did you uh, did you deal with a lot of storms in your area? Did it keep you up at night? Uh, feel free to let us know. Um, election results. We talked about that stuff. Um, we may get to this at some point. Someone went into an abandoned McDonald's. Yeah, it had been abandoned since like the '90s, but there's still still signage and stuff inside the store. Oh, they didn't white box it or anything. No, oh, no, dear. they didn't. So okay. they they stumbled upon the prices of a lot of the <laughs> items, and they may surprise you. So we might get oh, to that boy. at some point. And then we got to talk about Kellogg's. Yep, we got to talk CEO about CEO stepping in stale cereal. Yep, yep, and uh, and he's in hot milk. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, all right, well. Uh, that's some other thing. Hey, look, the, the beeping stopped. Speaking of fries, the yeah. fries are... See, if we done, wait long enough, the beeping goes away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instead of going and I texted fixing Terry. it... No, I texted Terry. Maybe he looked at it remotely. Yeah. Fun stuff. I do... I will say I do uh, appreciate that, and I do get a little annoyed by the fact that every time something goes wrong, there is either a phone call or a alarm that goes off, as mm -hmm. it should. Mm -hmm. If anything goes wrong, especially here... That's important stuff. Sure. But um, not everybody does that. No. Could you imagine like uh, in any other job that you're in, if all of a sudden alarms just start going off mm -hmm. at random times, hmm. you're having a meeting. Ooh, that's what we need. We need to extend this into meetings. <laughs> like if the meeting goes too long, yeah. there should just be an annoying beep. beep. Oh, time beep, to go. Beep, 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 beep. beep. Or like... Uh, You're awards... wasting our time. You're not saying anything productive. Yeah. Or of <laughs> awards shows, how they have the music play yes. out. If we just... While somebody's doing a presentation of the meeting, just all of a sudden the music starts getting louder and louder and louder and louder. Uh, um, that'd be fun. Good morning to Teresa. Hey, um, Teresa. All right. Let's get back to it here. <clears throat> Morning to all the folks that are watching and enjoying this fine award-winning program. Absolutely. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Back to it. Yeah, really. You can save a ton and like it better. Imagine being happy with how you're taking care of your health care. So if you're self-employed or part of the gig economy or you just want to plan you're happy with. You can call right now. You'll get a price within two minutes. So see what you can say. This is a very, very smart use of two minutes. Here's the number you need. 
Call 855-51-BIBLE. That's 855-51-BIBLE. 855-51-BIBLE. Windy and cold today. Temperatures dropping into the 20s, and then we'll stay there the rest of the day with wind chills between 5 and 10 degrees. We get some rain showers changing over to snow, and then some light lake effect snow showers accumulation about a half inch to an inch during the day today. We're back to clear skies and 22 tonight, and then sunshine and 40 tomorrow. I'm WSBT 22 Chief Meteorologist Carrie Pujol. It's the morning show with Johnny and Ken on 94.9 WSJM. Hey, good morning. You can listen wherever you are on the WSGM app. Download that for free. You can check out news stories and, of course, listen to this fine award-winning program, podcasts, and so much more. Uh, and as you're starting your day, maybe your your start of your day is a, a bowl of cereal. Oh, yes. Maybe some, Great way uh, to start the day. Some cornflakes. Mm-hmm. Rice Cheerios, Krispies. Rice Krispies. Kicks. Mm. Ooh, kicks. <laughs> Remember kicks? This a, that's a cereal that's mom approved, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. And kids love it. And then there's tricks. Tricks is good. Tricks, kicks. Have you been in a cereal? Are you a cereal eater now as an adult? I will maybe have a couple of bowls a year. But, maybe. Man, there, I think some years have gone by recently where I've not had a bowl of cereal. I have walked by the, the cereal aisle and just marveled at the amount of different <laughs> things there are the different yeah. cereals that there are yeah. i mean there's like seven different kinds of cornflakes yeah it's like oh well cornflakes oh these are honey cornflakes oh mm-hmm. these are cornflakes with with little strawberries and special yep. k and all these other different things oh yeah can't keep track of it all no no there are a lot i mean they have the boxes of cereal and then there are the bags of cereal and the well, yeah. and then there's all the, I mean, <clears throat> don't get me started about all the sugar content and oh, all the different things tons. within the it's basically cereal. basically just sugar. Right. I'm an, I'm an old school uh, type person. Like mm-hmm. my go-tos are like Life cereal. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Life. Life is a great oh, one. Cinnamon a Life. Got to go see. Cinnamon Life though. Oh, yeah. Uh, that one's a go-to. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I like, I don't mind Honey Nut Cheerios. Um, cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah. Solid. That was good stuff. Golden Grams. Mm-hmm. Also Golden another Grams. solid choice. Yeah. Um, yeah. Life cor- cereal. That was my favorite because you could put the milk in it mm. and wait just a little bit. And then you get the mouthful of, of life cereal and then you just squeeze the milk out of it. You squeeze the eat. milk out of it and then it just slowly becomes a mush. <laughs> but it's not a it's not a mush that's a weird texture. It's just like, yeah, it basically yeah. has become oatmeal. So good. Raisin Bran. Ooh, yeah. Love Raisin Bran. Do you love Raisin Bran? We yeah. are apparently 75 years old. Yes. Raisin Bran's <laughs> we, good. We were when we were talking about when we, when we were 10 years old. We were 75 at No, heart. no. The ra- Well, yes, yes, because my parents were eating that. Mm-hmm. But what they didn't share with us was the sugar content of Raisin Bran was probably higher than any other cereal we right. had because of the raisins and because of the sugar. Two scoops of raisins. It's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Saw a thing the other day that was like, the cereal was so bad oh, that no. people thought, why don't we make this better by scooping a couple of raisins in there? Jeez. <laughs> oh, I did I did like raisin bran though. Um, but when it comes to cereal, usually you have it for breakfast. It's breakfast, yeah. But the CEO is saying, No, no, you can have it for other meals. Yeah, this this is turning into it. What started out as what might have been a clever ad campaign mm-hmm. is kind of backfiring a little bit. A little uh and in an interview with CNBC last week, uh Kellogg CEO Gary Pilnick said the company was advertising cereal for dinner to consumers who were looking for more affordable options because the price of everything's up. Right. So it's like, well, you can have a, a great nutritious meal by just having a Cereal. He said, cereal. he hmm. said, give the give chicken the night off. Well, oh, they, yeah, that's what his ad campaign says. Uh, W.K. Kellogg owns cereals, including Frosted Flakes, Fruit mm-hmm. Loops, Corn mm-hmm. Flakes, Raisin Bran, others. Uh, Pilnick said the cereal category has always been quite affordable. It tends to be a great destination when consumers are under pressure, financial pressure. That is, if right. you think about the cost of cereal for a family versus what they might otherwise do, that's going to be much more affordable. That's what he said. Mm, yeah, that's well, what he said. That's what he said. But of course, the internet, <laughs> a lot of naysayers task. and yeah. said, hey, uh, <laughs> here's the thing. Because that's the other part that I marvel at is yeah. when I look at the price of a box of cereal, how ridiculous it is. Yeah, it's about seven bucks. Yeah. Yeah, seven, which is ridiculous. And so people on uh, social media were saying, 
Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The, the cost of a box of cereal, I could probably get maybe a frozen lasagna or something else that might be and probably is a lot healthier. It's it's funny because CNBC um, host Carl Quintanilla said, um, is this is, encouraging folks to eat cereal for dinner? Is you're worried this could land the wrong wrong way? Mm -hmm. And the CEO said, no, no. In fact, it's landing very well right now. Cereal for dinner is something that's probably more on trend now. And we expect that to continue. But like you said, the social media said, hey, wait a sec. You make you CEO of Kellogg's make four million dollars a year. Right. The cereal costs more than seven bucks a box. This mm -hmm. is not an adequate substitution for dinner. Right. <laughs> what are you talking about here? Yeah, it's bad timing, poor taste. Uh, I mean, I understand where he's coming from. I mean, the of course, if you have a company and you're kind of pigeonholed into yeah, you're just that one part yeah. of the the of the day is yeah. well. Let's try to expand it. Hey, it makes a good, healthy, nutritious, quick lunch or uh, a dinner. I don't I know. understand where he's coming from. I I do too. I mean, it's like okay. I mean, you don't often think of cereal for dinner. Maybe it's an well, affordable option. But a lot of times, I don't know Why if you not? do this. Do you do breakfast for dinner? Yeah, absolutely. where you say like, yeah, I mean. Yeah. Pancakes, yeah, sausage, like all that stuff. Yep. Well, no, well, not no the, sausage. The, the, the veggie sausage. <laughs> yes. That's good uh, stuff. Yeah. But having that breakfast type thing I for like the dinner. Idea. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, so he's he's getting smacked back on this. I don't know. Maybe it was uh, Captain Crunch that didn't like it or something. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he should have done is he should have had uh, Tony the Tiger do the press <laughs> conference. Yes. Instead. Yes. Yeah. You know, he could do that. If Tony the Tiger was on CNN in an interview and he said, breakfast for dinner, they're great. Yeah. You know, that I would be like, yeah, Tony the Tiger, mm -hmm. I'm going to have breakfast for dinner. But the fact that some dude that's the CEO of the company mm -hmm. who I had not heard of this guy beforehand. Yeah. Um, just, oh, yeah, you need to do this. That just sounds like I need to make more. <laughs> my company needs to make more money. Please eat more. Buy more. Do that. Yeah. Um, But. Feel free to comment on our uh, Facebook or give us a call. I want to know, uh, you know, is breakfast for dinner, the, or not breakfast for dinner, but the cereal for dinner, is that something you're already doing? Yeah. Um, Fruity because, Pebbles. Yeah, because I know my, my, Puffs. my mom will have a midnight snack of, man, I'm, I'm kind of hungry, uh, wake up hungry, have a quick bowl of cereal. Yeah. I've done that too. Count Chocula. Ooh. Yeah. Cocoa Pebbles. Yeah, those are good stuff. Fruity Pebbles, classic. Yeah, One of my Fruity other Pebbles. favorites that not a lot of people think about. Crispix. Hmm, I remember the name, but I don't remember the cereal. It's much like a Chex that okay. kind of it's corn and, and wheat, but it's uh their ad campaign was uh crispy to the bottom of the bowl. Oh. So you'd get to the very last bite <laughs> and it would still be crispy and not mushy. Okay. One of the other slogans I think they tested that didn't work out so well was never softens in milk. It will still scrape your mouth. <laughs> yes. Doesn't cut your mouth up though. <laughs> no. Like Cap and Crunch. Oof. Yeah. That, Peanut butter Captain Crunch. Oof. My favorite. Yeah. Yeah. That one, the, that one didn't cut up your mouth as no, much. No, because right? there was some kind of like peanut butter softening agent on I it. I didn't really like that though, because I so feel like good. it had this, like, once you put yeah. the milk on it, it had this weird, like, film. Well, like it had a it was force. Like a floatability. <laughs> it had like a force field around it. Like all of a sudden it turned into a life raft. Yeah. It would never sink. So, yeah. What the waterproofing kicked Get the in. milk on it. Yeah. <laughs> It's not, Hold it under. I used to drown the Captain Crunch. I don't Crunch. think it's cere uh, cereal when then it just, uh, you scoop up the cereal and the milk just kind of beads off of the... Uh, yeah, it's thing. like eating ping pong balls, miniature ping pong balls. Yeah, like you just, you just waxed your car with the same <laughs> stuff that you had on the top of your cereal. Thanks. All right, we got some other things to get to here this morning. We'll catch you up with news, sports, and your Bloomberg Market Minute is next. It's the morning show on 94.9 WSJM. Just as the roots of a mighty oak, All right. Good morning, everybody. Hey, hey. Um, Jeff says, I'll add Cheerios to my yogurt with nuts, honey, dried cranberries, and and uh, even more honey uh, as a late night snack. That's a lot of work. Yeah. That's like, basically, like, you might as well just make overnight oats and just uh, do that instead. Mm. Adding the Cheerios in there. Yeah, Cap'n Crunch, I never, never liked. I did like Cap'n Crunch with uh, 
the crunch berries. Oh, the crunch berries are the best. And then when oops, all berries came out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so good. Uh, one, one I used to love. I don't know if they still make it. It's cookie crisp. Oh yeah. That was good. The little cookies. Yeah. The little with a wizard. Yeah. Yeah. Those, were, those good. were good. Um, yeah. Frosted flakes. Solid go-to. Mm-hmm. Um, I always really liked rice krispies. Like when we would go and pick fresh strawberries, mm-hmm. I would love to do rice krispies with uh fresh strawberries cut up in there. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Bananas. You ever do bananas? In bananas. Your oh yeah, yeah. Love that. Banana milk is good. Um, mm. Lucky Charms. Not a fan. Really? Yeah. Why not? I don't know. I just never was really a fan of ma- of marshmallows. Oh. When I was growing up, like the, just, I didn't like it. <laughs> and by the way, those were not really marshmallows. No, they weren't. I didn't like that kind of marshmallow. It just felt, they tasted so weird yeah. once the milk they, they got They had kind of that, as you, as you yeah, chew they, into them. <laughs> it's not like cheese curds. You don't want your food to squeak. Cheese curds, it's okay if you're, if it squeaks a little marshmallow bit. Marshmallow cheese curds. Mm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, but yeah, the cereal for dinner thing. I mean, I'm I, I think it's a fine thing to do, but I don't know why it didn't play well. The social media can be so judgmental mm-hmm, these days. Mm-hmm. I mean, sure, he makes four million bucks a year, and right? Cereal costs more than seven bucks a box. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like the candy aisle, except in big boxes. Mm-hmm. Reese's Puffs. You ever had those? Reese's Puffs. I. Uh... What did I did I ever have Reese's Puffs? Those look good. Um, yeah, I I didn't really like them all that much. Hmm. What is this? Veggie blends of Cheerios? Cheerios veggie blends? Cheerios fans of all ages, make room for a few tasty O's to love. Cheerios veggie blends. Ooh, you know what was a good one? Made with a quarter cup of fruit and veggies per serving. <laughs> nice. That's good. <laughs> I, uh, I mean, it sounds like it's good for you. Yeah. I don't Combine know if it's good. spinach, carrot, and sweet potato with whole grain oats mm-hmm. mm. for breakfast. You know one I really liked, and they only came out, and I'm wondering <sighs> if they're going to release it this year, uh, but they would do it every year for the Olympics. It was called Team Cheerios. Oh. And what it was is they would take all the different kinds of Cheerios that they had and put them all in one bowl. So you had... Frosted Cheerios, you had oh. the, like the wheat Cheerios, you had uh, regular and honey nut. Okay. And then I think there was another one in, tossed in there as well, but it was, it was great. Mm. They're great. <laughs> we, we had a partial, uh, partial breakfast for dinner snack last night. Oh yeah. After our regular dinner, uh, the snack was uh, waffles. The little. Oh, know. the little, like a little Eggo. Yeah. Nice. They were good. Nice. With peanut butter and jelly on it. I had cake. That's right. I Jocelyn's had, birthday yeah. yesterday. Yeah. How was it? It was great. Yeah. What'd you guys do? Uh, we. Ate I like, know you're going to celebrate a little bit later as well. Yeah. Thursday we're going out to eat. Okay. Um, yeah. We're going to. There's ribeye night. So you're not invited because you That's won't all right. eat it. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, we're going out to eat with family. Uh, nice. Later this uh, this week. Okay. Um. So yeah, it was pretty laid back. Yeah. Uh, Jocelyn did a lot of gardening. Okay. Um, you know, so nice Great out. Day for it. So nice out. I think she said she planted about fifty different bulbs oh, for man. stuff, just random stuff across that sounds the, like stuff uh, the you backyard. Can't eat. No, mainly it's like tulips and things no. like that. Just it's beautiful stuff. Right. But okay. uh, yeah, not stuff that we can eat. She's just kind of around the perimeter, putting uh, tulips and all kinds of other different uh, nice bulbs in the ground. Because yeah, it was perfect weather for yeah. it. Yeah, beautiful. All right, you've got your Bloomberg Market Minute going on right now. Um, Teresa says she remem- remembers those. Yeah, Team Cheerios. I don't know, because I know the Olympics is this year, the Summer Olympics, so I'm wondering if the Team Cheerios will come by- back or if they will, uh, or if they've since gotten rid of those. They may have not done those for a number of years, but you love the Team Cheerios. Team Cheerios cereal. You know, and Wheaties, I think, had one of the best ad campaigns for the longest time because they would just put athletes on the Wheaties mm-hmm. box. And people wanted the Wheaties because, you know, Michael Jordan or Ken Griffey Jr. was on it. Bruce Jenner at the time. Right. Yeah. So. Um, 
I just love the contrast they did with the big orange box and the athlete. Yep. It was cool. It was simple mm-hmm. and cool. It yeah. was kind of like a cover of a like a magazine. So yeah. pretty neat. Yeah. All right, let's get back to it. It's the morning show with Johnny and Ken on 94.9 WSJM. Yes, it is. Good morning. Just about 730. And today we're looking at uh, some more rain and storms uh, throughout the day. Not sure if they'll be as bad as they were uh, overnight, but we could have some snain turning to snow. Mm-hmm. And I can't tell because the, the camera's still in night vision. Can't tell. No, that's not snow sticking already. But. It's looking pretty nasty outside right now. Yeah, I've got a little bit of rain. Some people reporting snow near the lake. Um, probably going to see more of that today. High of 40 today. Then the temperature continues to drop into this evening. Uh, low down to 22. Mm-hmm. That's going to be chilly. Mm-hmm. Let's find out what's happening in the news this morning. WSJM News Now. Team coverage from the WSJM Newsroom on News Talk Sports 94.9 WSJM. In the WSJM Newsroom, I'm Ken Lundberg. Happy Wednesday. We'll talk about the storms that Southwest Michigan saw in just a moment. But voters yesterday headed to the polls in Michigan's presidential primary. Local elections were also held for some millage renewals. Across Michigan, Donald Trump handily won the Republican nomination for president. Joe Biden won the Democrat nomination, though about 100,000 people in the Democrat primary voted uncommitted as what was seen as a protest vote against the president's Israel policy. As for local elections, Berrien County voters said yes to school millage renewals at River Valley Public Schools, Niles, and Buchanan Community Schools. In Van Buren County, a millage renewal for South Haven Public Schools was approved. Cass County voters approved, but narrowly, a millage proposal for the Cass County Transportation Authority, and they said yes to a millage renewal for Edwardsburg Public Schools. Meanwhile, Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson briefed press on what happened with absentee voting and early voting. She said about 13 percent of Michigan's active registered voters cast their ballots prior to Election Day. Uh, About 927,000 people did absentee. About 80,000 people did early voting leading up to Election Day. Strong storms in southwest Michigan last night. Severe thunderstorms, hail, at least two tornado warnings. One uh, for northern Berrien County last night and then one for southeast Van Buren County right after that. We have no reports of any touchdowns at this time. No major damage reports at all from the wind. Uh, Some power outages, a couple hundred people near Schoolcraft still without power. Also affected in the Dowagic, Niles, and Three Rivers area, some handfuls of outages. National Weather Service meteorologist Nathan Marcelli says the 40 to 50 degree temperature drop will be pretty severe but it won't last long we'll see some moderate temperatures uh this weekend in the wsjm newsroom i'm ken lundberg coming up here in just a little while we'll catch you up with uh sports and right now let's find out what's going on around the state the michigan news network all right yeah Mm -hmm. teresa i'm Mm -hmm. with you i can't believe uh yesterday was in the 70s and today it's snowing yep yeah weird uh, speaking of that, Bill says it's snowing in Dewanjack. Nice. Already. Okay. So. Uh, Nothing like it? a little return to winter. Lucky Charms. <laughs> Lucky Charms is cat food for people with marshmallows. <laughs> yeah. Lucky Charms is cat, cat food, food for people with for marshmallows. People. Cat food for people with marshmallows. Oh, with marshmallows. Oh, yeah. cat food with marshmallows for yeah. people. Yeah, because if you think about it, you have the just the marshmallows that you can buy in a bag, mm-hmm. but no one is going to buy just the cereal side of stuff. Agree. Yeah, you look at uh, Cap and Crunch. Mm-hmm. You have Cap and Crunch. You have Cap and Crunch with berries, mm-hmm. Crunch berries. So you've got that. People are okay with either of those, but the other little things that they add, like Lucky Charms, the cereal always. You're right. Kind of did look like cat food. <laughs> Yeah. Grape nuts. Forgot to talk about that. Grape nuts. I do uh, enjoy grape nuts. Usually put uh, fruit, bananas. Well, the thing about grape nuts is you got to let it sit for a little while because (laughs) it's very, very hard. But if you let it sit in the milk for, you know, three days, uh, it'll be ready to go. Yeah. You ever put uh, grape nuts on ice cream? Sometimes. Okay. Uh, Not lately, but I would I would do that again. That sounds like fun. 
that's another one where it would probably need a little bit of time to uh, soften up a little bit. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Grape. It's uh, the thing about grape nuts is so great is that not only the ingredients are all really good for you, but um, I think the other part of it, why it's part of a healthy breakfast, is mm -hmm. because your jaw hurts at the end of your meal. <laughs> You can have like a small little bowl of grape nuts yeah, and your jaw will be strong, hmm. like bend a, bend an iron pipe. Is that because they made grape nuts once and only once in history and we're just still feeding off that same batch? I think so. Prior to World War One or something? Because if you watch uh, the Food That Built America, that yeah. series on History Channel, they talk about the Kellogg uh, creating the grape nuts. Because Kellogg did it before Post came mm -hmm. out with it. Mm -hmm. Kellogg did it at a, a sanitarium. And <laughs> they just had these giant blocks of what they called granola, these giant blocks, and then they would just take it into like a mortar and pestle <laughs> and just, <laughs> just chip away at the giant block of grape nuts. I'm looking at their website. In 1933, Post Grape Nuts, mm -hmm sponsored Sir Admiral Byrd's expedition to Antarctica. Wow. So I guess he took grape nuts there. Huh. All right. There you go. Looks like it's coming down quite a lot out there right now, and the trees are waving at us. Uh-oh. That means it's going to be slippery out there, so do be careful when you drive. Yeah. Woof. Yeah, it is a little nasty out there. Give yourself a couple extra minutes. Mm-hmm. All right, we got sports going on right now. Some other things. Um, basketball oh, tonight. Basketball tonight. We do have uh, Lakeshore and Benton Harbor. That game. This is uh, like the the the. I don't know what you call it. The semifinal before the final, mm. or or what? But uh, yeah, the final should be happening on Friday. Ooh. You have a favorite? Um, I don't, man. I think Benton Harbor is playing really, really well this yeah. year, and I'd love to see them continue to go um further into the 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 tournament maybe into regionals yeah i don't know what the competition is across the state in this division mm -hmm. um but they've they i mean they've always had a good team the coach is great um and so he puts together really good teams got some talented players so i feel like this could be a good year for them they did have one loss but that was to brandywine now, I don't know if they'll meet Brandywine again hmm. in like a regional. Um, not sure how, how that's all played out. I'll have to check with our, our sports peeps. Yeah. Did you see um, Macy's made a big announcement? I saw that cutting yeah. uh, quite a lot of jobs. It was like 30% or 30% or of their stores they're going to be closing. Yeah, we should talk about that. Yeah. Um, I also saw that the U.S. Army is cutting some jobs. What? But not soldiers. Oh. 20, 24,000 positions. Um, yeah. Really? Yeah. Because huh. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I thought, I thought all the army was considered soldiers. They're all soldiers, but they have different departments and divisions That's and things like that. Very interesting. I know that a lot of the, the military had low recruiting numbers or lower than what they hoped. <clears throat> um, so the U.S. Army is slashing the size of its force by 24,000, mm -hmm. almost 5%, and restructuring to better be able to fight the next major war. How does that make mm. sense? We're cutting our, We're cutting our population to be able to better fight the war. Now They it, still have recruiting shortfalls. So they're cutting the jobs. Are they moving those people to other positions then? Well, it seems so when you cut a job, you're not yeah. always cutting people. Sure. These are just, maybe these are jobs that they couldn't fill. Yeah. So these are already empty posts, not mm -hmm. actual soldiers, um, that they're they're eliminating a lot of that. Uh, okay. They're padding their bottom line. So when they go to the president and say, oh, yeah, we're fine. Mm, <laughs> we have got every job filled. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, it says that um, they've struggled with recruiting shortfalls. <clears throat> it's made it impossible to bring in enough soldiers to fill all the jobs, and the cuts will mainly affect already empty posts. Mm. Does Space Force still exist? Oh, yeah. Yes. That's still a thing. Oh, yeah. There's people in it. Why oh, can't yeah. they just take some of the Space Force people, fill those jobs, move them over to some of the other ones? Because they're focused on space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess there is problems the Russians, to deal with in yeah. space. Yeah, Russians are 
putting weren't they putting like nuclear weapons up there? That's what they want to do. Oh, According to the intel, we're not supposed to know. Right. Yeah. And then we got to fight the aliens. Well, they're coming too. Of course, have to do that. Yeah. All right. You could join the Space Force, by the way. I could. <clears throat> that is too old. No, you must be between the ages of 17 and 42. Oh, okay. A U.S. Sweet. citizen. Okay. Have a high school diploma or GED mm-hmm. with 15 college credits. Uh, with college GED with 15 college credits or GED. I don't know what this means, but can I be a radio guy in? Uh, Why not in Space Force? You need it. And just uh, broadcast to uh, broadcasting to the entire universe. <laughs> Space Force must love this because you have to apply through an Air Force recruiter. Yeah, I mean, I get that, but then how are <clears> they? <throat> how are they their own division if it's Space Force and you have to apply yeah, to the Air Force? I think it's kind of like the Marine Corps because oh, the Marine Corps Navy. is part of the Navy. Yeah. Um, even though the Marines always think they're better than the Navy, they're still <laughs> there. It's still it's like Navy. Marines. It's like, it's not, they're not in line. I'm not going to take a side there. Yeah. So you get <laughs> your army, your Navy, your air force. And then you kind of, you branch off a little bit or you branch. It's kind of like you branch to the left where it's like, okay, here we're now, this mm-hmm. is the Marine Corps part of the Navy. So I think, I mean, you do go to a Marine recruiter, Yeah. but yeah. Um, I asked my brother if he was good at one point when the space force, like first right. it was, Launching, launching. I yeah. was like, "Yeah, you you gonna join Space Force?" And he's like, "I'm. I've thought about it. I've uh, had people talk to me about it, but mm-hmm. um, yeah, and their uniforms very similar to the Air Force uniforms. They should have put them in Star Trek uniforms. They should have. Yeah, I they, don't know. They missed the they missed the chance. They protect satellites. Their mission their mission is to protect satellites to uh, to conduct humanitarian and military operations and to facilitate launches." Mm. That's important okay. stuff. I wonder. So, when like NASA mm-hmm. has their launches, do you think they have some people that are also part of Space Force sure. just to make sure everything's oh, going yeah. well? It makes sense. Got to have a representative there. You have yeah. think. <clears throat> Stowaways on the rockets. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. James Bond. Right. Makes total sense. Um. We'll talk about Macy's. And then we've got a big donation to talk about during Moody on the Market. Ooh. Yeah. People um, feeling generous. Diane says she doesn't think that vegetables would be good in cereal. Right? I agree. Uh, do you want to talk a little bit about the uh, robotics competition that's coming yeah. up this weekend as well? Is that going to be, where is that? Uh, this one is going to happen in Berrien Springs. Okay. And then they're going to have one the following week, next week in um, St. Joe. Okay. Because so I saw is... I saw some folks who look like they were getting ready for the St. Joe one Ooh. at the high school. Ooh. Yeah. Hey, good morning. You can be part of the show anytime. You can call 925-WSJM. You can email let's talk at WSJM.com or on our Facebook, YouTube, and X. And, uh, you know, uh, we do a robotics roundup at WSJM.com, and you can check out the podcast as well and the videos. And uh, speaking of that, it's brought to you by our friends at Lake Michigan College, uh, AEP Cook Nuclear Plant, as well as Berrien Springs Public Schools. And with that, Berrien Springs Public Schools, pretty busy right now, uh, getting ready for a really awesome district event that is going to happen this weekend. Hmm. Uh, you're going to want to check it out because it's uh, free admission. Free admission, free parking, and volunteers are needed for this. Um, I was looking at the Green Engineers uh, Facebook page. Right. I talked to them. Yeah, they're, they're from the Berrien Springs, Springs guys. Yeah. Okay. I was talking to them a couple weeks ago. And just looking at the map, these these uh, teams are coming from all across the state. Yeah. You've got ones from the UP, oh, wow. uh, the top of the state, all the way across to the thumb, uh, over... Uh, 36 high school teams registered and maybe even more uh, showing up and anticipated fans checking this out. 1,500 to 2,000. That's great. Yeah. Wow. So first robotics uh, competition. The The competition will happen Saturday, uh, 1030 to 7. Okay. Sunday, 9 to 530. 
And this is the one where the, they have a theme they must adhere to. Yeah, crescendo is the theme. So okay. it's uh, introducing the the arts into this because there's yep. a music element to it. Nice. Um, and the robot has these like little rings okay. that it tosses into this big speaker. Okay. And then it plays some music. Daft Punk? Probably Daft that Punk. That would be amazing. Uh, probably... Uh, my guess is it just either Daft Punk or it just plays sticks. Or it could do Jack White. Mr. Roboto. <laughs> Mr. Roboto. Thank you That'd very be good. much, uh, Mr. <laughs> yeah, that would be fantastic. So if you want to check that out, uh, you can. It's uh, going to be happening at the Berrien Springs Arts and Athletics Center uh, this weekend mm. at Berrien Springs Public Schools. You see the Green Engineers. You'll see the uh, this the Robotarians, who I also talked with uh, for Robotics Roundup. You can check out those conversations. And by the way, the Robotarians did figure out what their uh, robot name is going to be. Oh. Beastie Bot. <laughs> I like it's it. Little Beastie Boys, Beastie Bot. Beastie Bot. But yeah, go check out uh, and learn more about Robotics Roundup by checking it out at WSJM.com and the WSJM app. Again, it's brought to you by Lake Michigan College, AEP Cook Nuclear Plant, as well as Berrien Springs Public Schools. And then next week, is the one, the competition that'll be happening in St. Joe. At St. Joseph. So looking forward to that. i uh, not uh, really excited about the fact that uh, there are going to be uh, less Macy's stores. <laughs> Fewer, yeah. What's going on with that? Well, I mean, you, we, we talk about business realignments from time to time. Mm -hmm. And Macy's yesterday making a big announcement, not the kind you want to hear, especially if you're a Macy's employee. They say they're going to be shutting down 150 stores in the next couple of years wow. uh, in a re realignment effort, they said. Mm. Uh, by 2026, Macy's says it will shut down 150 underproductive stores, which is basically 30% of their locations, they say. Okay. They say about a third of their locations are underproductive, so they're going to close those down and reprioritize their investments into their go forward stores about 350 go forward stores it says it'll close 50 stores by the end of this fiscal year for macy's uh they did not release a list of which okay. stores they're going to be closing go forward store well, is that another like a smaller thing a section that they, they have they want to say that they're turning a they're they're starting a bold new chapter ah is it kind of like toys r us where toys r us they they mm. went bankrupt and then they closed a bunch of stores and then they just ended up being a section in one of the other stores well they do want to expand their bloomingdales okay and they want to expand something called blue mercury do you know what the blue mercury I've store is i've never heard of the blue I've mercury i've never store. heard of that myself um, yeah, so despite closing those Macy's locations, the company says it wants to expand Bloomingdale's and Blue Mercury by 45 locations altogether, signaling an increased investment in what they call their luxury sector. Ooh, luxury. Their luxury sector. So they're going to go after the high dollar, high, do high ticket items, close the stuff that's affordable for the rest of us and uh, call it a day. I'm looking at the Blue Mercury to try and find stores near me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't see them. Anything in Chicago, New York? Ah, not, it's not showing up on the map. So <laughs> blue mercury, it's all one word. It's, yeah. I'm at the blue mercury. Yeah. It looks like it's a lot of cosmetic stuff. Oh, so that's yeah. Nice. Bold new chapter, 150 underproductive stores and they'll close 50 of them by the end of this fiscal year. Are they going to take away their sponsorship of the Thanksgiving day parade? Do you think? Ooh, I doubt it. Yeah. I don't think they would. That's probably why they're probably closing the stores so that so they, they can, can pay afford, for the parade. Yeah. Get bigger balloons. Right. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. They would, they wouldn't do that because that staple, the, the landmark store that they have in New someday, York City, they're never going to. Yeah. Someday they might. Mm, yeah. You never know. Never yep. say never. Yep. 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 Uh, what else you got? I didn't have another thing about Netflix. Go ahead. Uh, they're raising their prices again. No, they aren't. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yep. Uh, <sighs> It's not clear when it Again? will get more expensive. Didn't they just raise their prices? They did, actually, back in November. They raised their prices. They're not sure how much just yet. Can we file um, a lawsuit? Against them for yeah. raising the prices Class so many action times? action lawsuit. Give us what Ooh. you paid. Give us what we paid for. And quit raising the price. That is true. A lot of people, We're and so that's spoiled. one reason why I stopped borrowing uh, my Netflix, a Netflix password <laughs> from my brother, is because I was just tired of the content. There was nothing, there was nothing of worth. That was one reason when they started cracking down, they're like, oh, password sharing. Okay. 
well, I guess I just won't use Netflix and I'm not going to buy the subscription because mm. it was not worth it. So since the last price increase, uh, they didn't send uh, subscribers packing, but uh, Netflix is going to see just how much they can get away with to, by raising the prices. And they're not sure how much it's going to be uh, or when, hmm. but they do say it's coming. There was all, there's so many streaming services out there. Now. There are. There's, they better be uh, there's careful. a lot of mergers happening. Yeah. Like Peacock, Paramount Plus. I think they were talking about merging. There were we had, we talked about that giant sports uh That's right. subscription the that was coming. Yep. So yeah, at some point they're all just gonna merge into one and we're just gonna pay one price, basically just like cable. Well, and the, and that's the concern I would I would assume is Services like Netflix, like mm -hmm. Prime, like uh, YouTube TV, all of them have to be cognizant of subscription fatigue yeah. because you pay too many subscriptions. You've not only erased any savings you thought you'd get from cutting the cord, mm -hmm. but now you're adding on top of it. And it's it's a pain to yeah. go through all the different services because they won't work together to give me one search to right. figure out where something's playing. It'd be a lot easier if it was all kind of together <laughs> and then I could just use the remote to flip through each <laughs> streaming service, much like a channel yeah. on cable. So yeah. it sounds like we're going to just revert no, back to that. No, absolutely and, not. And I'm pay still well, I almost want to just go to cable. I'm still mad at cable. <laughs> it's like what? It could be 70, 80 bucks uh, a month for cable. And satellite, well, you're probably playing, yeah. paying that with all the streaming services that you have. At least. So, anyways, At least. fine. Uh, we'll get to your Moody on the Market update. You said a big donation. Yeah. So we'll talk about that uh, here in just a little bit. It's the morning show on 94.9 WSJM. He loves a bargain. We all. <laughs> that donation did not come from Netflix. No, no Netflix donation. <laughs> no. Darn. Uh, I, I do appreciate the quality of the programming on Netflix the, versus some, some of, of the others. Some of their original. Their yeah. original the stuff originals I are great. Is a really, there are a few movies and shows that I have seen that have been uh, announced or like, oh, this is coming to Netflix yeah. or this is a new thing on Netflix. I haven't. I haven't had a chance to watch them yet. But what I feel you get on Netflix is what what I feel you don't ever get on Netflix are the college movies. Something made by a, a, a student oh. that can easily appear on Prime. Mm. And you get hoodwinked by the pretty cover and the little tease. That's true. You start watching it. And it's like, was this filmed on? Some of those are good, though. I love I mm. love really bad movies. <laughs> <laughs> like poorly filmed Bad movies. Yeah, they're I, fun. I don't mind watching that stuff. Yeah. Um, but sometimes the plot and the acting is just like, oh. Oh, yeah. Absolutely awful. Yeah. But like Blair Witch Project, still. That's a great movie. Uh, in case you didn't notice or haven't looked outside, it is snowing. Oh, yeah. Man. Stupid. Feel like we haven't seen that in a month. <laughs> right. <laughs> we went through, what was it, 70 yesterday yeah. to now 20 today. Woof. And today is not the last day of February. It is not. We got an extra leap day. Year. Leap year. Yeah. Should we do a special edition for the leap year show? Is it in our contract to work on leap year? The, on a leap on the day. On a leap day. Yeah. Mm. I don't remember. Do we that. get paid extra for I that? I don't remember that. <laughs> Should get paid on Saturday. Uh, I think yeah. we're just lucky to get paid. <laughs> right. Wait. You get paid. <laughs> oh. That's an, that's awkward. Oh, I thought I was just volunteering for this job. <laughs> you are. Oh, okay. No. All right, yeah, good morning, here. everybody. Uh, quick thing. Jeff makes a good point. Uh, he says he's a Air Force combat veteran. Uh, he says, I wonder what Space Force basic military training would be like. That's oh. a good question. Because I know Air Force is in San Antonio. What do they do? Do they just take them down to Houston and then launch them into space? And like, there's your Space Force. Yikes. All right, let's get back to it. 4.9 WSJM. Yeah. It's all morning. video games. Video games? It's got to be video games. That's yeah, that's their training. Yeah, exactly. That's what they do. Talking about the uh the Space Force training. What do they uh what do they do? do How they, do they get ready for combat? Do they launch them into actual space? Do no. they uh do they do they take them up on <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you got quite a cough today. <laughs> I'm worried about you. It's the weather change, man. Okay. It's the weather. Allergies. Um, yeah think so um but they uh 
the Space Force, do they take them up in those airplanes that have the uh, <laughs> where they do the anti-gravity stuff? <laughs> where they go as high as they can and then they just drop. Yeah. Yeah. That would be awesome. But uh, we'll have to do some research on that. But we do have some great stories at MoodyOnTheMarket.com for you to enjoy. MoodyOnTheMarket.com update is brought to you by our friends at Insurance Management Service. Call IMS today, your local auto owners agency with locations in St. Joseph and in Niles. And talking about why we love living in our great region of Southwest Michigan, it's because of the people. And a lot of times people are generous, and this time it's especially generous. The Joseph N. and Rosemary E. Lau Foundation, created in 2023, recently donated $50,000 wow. to United Way of Southwest Michigan. Yeah, they were longtime residents of Niles, and the donation was made in memory of Wilma Lau. The team at the United Way of Southwest Michigan was understandably elated by the donation. To say we are deeply grateful for this extraordinary gift from the Joseph N. and Rosemary E. Lau Foundation. The outstanding support and commitment we receive from our major donors is crucial uh, in allowing United Way of Southwest Michigan to tackle our community's most pressing issues. That's what uh, Sharon Polfus, yep, Polfus, the director of major gifts. Uh, at United Way of Southwest Michigan told us. Yeah, she said because of their leadership and generosity, United Way is able to create opportunities that lift up their neighbors and make a positive impact in Southwest Michigan. Uh, $50,000, that's mm-hmm. going to go a long way. That's really awesome. That's a very generous donation. You want to read more about that, you can go to the article. We've got the full thing there at moodyonthemarket.com. And your update is brought to you by our friends at Insurance Management Service. Call IMS today, your local auto owner's agency with locations in St. Joseph and in Niles. We're watching over you. All righty. Yeah, I think all the allergies have been kicked up, all the dust, all the everything. Hmm. And there was, uh, I think people were grilling out yesterday, <laughs> building fires outside my house. I don't know what was going on. Yeah, we were out in the backyard just looking at... Uh... All the animals, all the critters that have been uh, intruding, breaking mm. our arborvita bushes. Ooh. Yeah, they really decimated this one row of bushes. I think it's become like a trail for the deer to come oh. through. And so they've just broken this poor tree thing. Oh, I know. Poor tree thing. Uh, nine and a half weeks of training to be an officer in the Space Force. Okay. Yeah. That's about what it is for Air Force. Is it? I think that, yeah, I think that's somewhere around nine or 10 weeks. Hmm. <laughs> Science, aerospace, and engineering. Intensive hands-on training. Again, I'm going to, uh, video games. Video it's games? Because it's Space Force. Yeah. You know? I remember my brother, he, his training was uh, in San Antonio, and it was end of, or middle of July mm-hmm. into August. So imagine what San Antonio was like, July, August. Oh, hot. Very, very hot. Ugly hot. Luckily, they had some indoor training that they were able to do. But if you want to train in an intense heat, Mm -mm. that was the place to do it. I remember we went to his graduation. And I think on average, it was around 110. But it's a dry heat. That's hot. That's too hot. But it was still hot. Yeah. I wasn't as uncomfortable as I would have been had it been really, really humid and heavy, but uh, it was still still pretty hot and intense. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, that about does it for us. Uh, yeah, mm. crazy the uh, the weather we've had. Uh, Teresa says I was wearing shorts yesterday. I considered wearing shorts at some I'm point. I'm surprised you haven't worn shorts yet. Thought about it today. Glad I didn't. <laughs> All right, that about does it for the live stream. We'll uh, continue okay. on the the radio if you want to listen and on the WSJM app. But yep. you guys have a great rest of your day. Be safe because the roads are already probably getting pretty nasty. Slower moving vehicles now on Napier. Mm-hmm. All right, bye now.